Hello everyone, welcome to Jenkins tutorial. So today we'll see how to implement the best practices and in that we will be specifically seeing how to restrict uh, projects or application team uh, to access to the respective folders. So in the pre previous tutorials we have seen how to create the folders like uh, suppose this is the dev folder which contains the development jobs and this is the QA folder which contains the QA jobs. So we'll see uh, actually uh, we have created a couple of jobs here earlier java build job and the other one is uh, with qa we have built the qa automation job we are which are respectively echoing uh, from their uh, jobs actually and those are just uh, echo statements which are inside the job and practically we can run any type of job or configure uh, as complex as we want according to our application needs so our objective is like uh, we have a qa user we have a developer user and those users should be only seeing this uh, QA folder or the dev folder in the whole from the whole Jenkins dashboard and execute uh, uh, as per the permission set by us like we will provide dev uh, developer to execute the build the job configure it delete it etc and for QA we'll just give read uh, and build but not to configure so let's get started so for that uh, I'll go to manage Jenkins and this is the part which we need to explore manage uh, sign in roles but before that i'll show you manage users we have qa1 user developer1 user and uh, actually prior to that let me go ahead and align with our convention because it is a dev folder here let me make it uh, align with our uh, with our format so i'll just make it uh, qa uh, which is the capital qa okay. Okay, that's done. Let's go ahead and we'll go to uh, man uh, manage Jenkins and we'll go explore the manage and assign roles here part. Uh, first, we'll go to manage roles here and we will add uh, a role here. So, which is uh, let's create a, a role called developer and we'll have one more uh, role called QA and both of them will be having overall read permissions so that they can access the Jenkins dashboard. Okay, so here we'll explore and uh, restrict our uh, users to the particular folders. So for that, we'll just mention uh, developer role and the pattern for developer is dev.star. So anything that starts with dev and then any number of characters, it will just restrict the role to this particular folder. Add it. We have it here and now I'll add for uh, QA so which is uh, QA dot star anything starting with QA uh, with any number of factors will be restricted to uh, this uh, folder and here I'll give the respective permissions for the uh, jobs inside the folders or the item role so I'll just create give view role uh, maybe this credential is not required I'll just give build configure uh, I maybe delete, discover, uh, read, workspace, uh, update, configure again uh, to the views, read, and uh, for QA, I'll just give uh, build is okay. I mean, for uh, developer, I can give cancel also. So here we'll give not give the cancel to them, not even the configure. Uh, we'll just restrict it uh, for our demo purpose. I'll give the discover, read and here i'll give replay and read i think yeah that's it so i'll just save it now we go to assign role so here uh, we'll add the users again so let me add uh, dev developer one as the user again i'll use uh, qa1 as the user and we will assign them to the respective uh, roles not groups so again for qa1 i'll just select qa1 And here again, we'll uh, add the uh, uh, users. So developer one and QA one, and we'll assign them to their respective uh, groups. Yep, so that's it. Let me save it. And we have uh, everything configured here. Now let's go to our another window and we will try to uh, log in the Jenkins and try with that. So. Maybe I'll open with the developer one user first. 
so we can see like there were a lot of jobs in the uh, actual dashboard and we are only restricted to uh, the dev folder and inside the job we are restricted to this folder where i can build it uh, if we want and we can also like once build it we can also configure it if i want i can just go to configure uh, make the required changes to the job and save it and i can also delete it so let me now log in with the qa so before that let me show like how was the screen so uh, it's uh, like developer one user can see only the dev folder uh, for the project or application and whereas the actual uh, dashboard was like this and he's restricted to only particular this dev access okay so let me uh, log out from the developer one i'll log in with qa1 okay so we can see now qa is restricted to qa folder here uh, he don't even has uh, uh, access to other things so let's explore how so if i go to the job he can build it but he cannot configure it uh, again he cannot delete it so these are the various permissions which uh, qa uh, is restricted so these are just for demo purposes but Again, your case to case uh, within your company, uh, you have to define and uh, define the architecture, know how it uh, suits according to your ACL and then apply the uh, restrictions. So that's it from the folder or application at acquisition uh, level as well as the project level restriction part for following the Jenkins security best practices.